Good morning, everyone. It is so good to see you today. I have been working around the house today, cleaning, getting all ready. Um, before we get started, let's see if we got any mail. I see a postcard. Let's see what it says. Miss Post, I get the words parallel and perpendicular mixed up. How can I remember those? This is such a great question. So let me show you a little trick that always stuck with me. When I was in elementary school trying to remember those words, I noticed something. When you write the word parallel, I noticed that the two L's in the word parallel they're actually a set of parallel lines. So parallel lines are two lines that never touch. Now remember, a line extends indefinitely in both directions. So we can even put little arrows just to show that they go on and on forever. You know what? We were actually just looking at a set of parallel lines while I was hanging up the blankets. Look at the ladder as an example. When we think about parallel, I can think about the left side of the ladder and the right side of the ladder. These are two parallel lines. They run next to each other, and even if they went on forever and ever in both directions, they would never touch. They will always be the same distance apart and never meet. Now, there's also an example of perpendicular lines on this ladder. Perpendicular lines do come together and meet, and when they do, it's always at a right angle. So with perpendicular lines, you will have your bottom line, and then at 90 degrees, you'll have your other line. So you can see it here on the ladder. There's a perpendicular set of lines. And another one, every rung on the ladder meets up with the side of the ladder and creates a perpendicular line. It's been such a fun day today. I've been working around the house today, cleaning and decorating. Well, my next job is to hang up a picture. And I want it to be just perfect. It kind of irks me when pictures hang a little crooked. So I have a couple of tools that should help me get this just right. Okay, so let's hang it up, see how we do. And then this is what I wanted to show you today. This is called a laser level because it actually shoots out a laser line to help you know what the top and the bottoms of your pictures would look like if that line got extended. So this laser level will make sure that the top and the bottom parts of my picture frame are parallel to the floor and to the ceiling. Okay, let's see how we did. So there's the top line of this picture, and if I hung it perfectly, then it will be parallel to the top line of the second picture. Also, there's two more lines hiding up here for us. There's the bottom of picture one, and if I hung it perfectly, that will be parallel to the bottom of picture two. Now also, there's some perpendicular lines involved in our picture hanging. The left border of the frame and the right border of my picture frame are perpendicular to the ceiling and down here at the floor. So anytime that you look at pictures, I want you to start thinking about parallel and perpendicular lines. Now also, if you get to do some decorating, maybe in your house or in your room, I want to show you one more tool that can really help you make sure that you hang those pictures correctly. This is called a bubble level. And when you get the picture hung just perfectly, that bubble will settle in right here in the middle. So let's see how we did. Okay, the bubble is just a little bit over to the left. So I'm going to keep straightening. Perfect, it's right in the middle. Now, I used the bubble tool earlier and made sure that my other picture was level. So since the bubble was in the middle and the bubble was in the middle, we know that our pictures are perfectly level. Y'all, you did a great job today. Thank you for the questions on the postcard. I hope that from now on, when you see the word parallel, that you will be able to look at those two L's in the middle of the word and remember, oh, parallel lines are the two lines that go on forever and ever and they never 
touch each other. And then remember, perpendicular lines, they do come together and meet, and when they do, it's going to be at a right angle, which is like the corner of one of our pictures. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Remember, keep a positive mindset. Grow every day by reading and asking big questions. And especially remember, there is nothing that you can't do if you put your mind to it. I'll see you soon.